What is going on YouTube? This is Sam from Team Xanarx1 here and today guys since the release of Battles of Legends Lights Revenge We got you guys an updated dinosaur deck profile for the post Battles of Legends So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video with the release of Giant Rex this deck has gone from a hundred percent Explosiveness to 200% explosiveness and today guys I got you guys Hank with Chow with an amazing build with the new Giant Rex uh, Dinosaurs with a twist so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, so I'll just uh, hand it off to Hanko, and uh, Hanko, take it away, bro. Alright, so this is a dinosaur deck that I was going to potentially play for a high-level tournament, but it's still, it's probably still going to be good uh, for the first couple weeks. But anyway, let's just let's just dig into it. <laughs> dig into it, eh? <laughs> oh oh my gosh. <laughs> so obviously you're playing a dinosaur deck, and this card's Rota for the deck. You have to play three. It's self-explanatory, to be honest. Uh, this is the Stratus for the deck, so yet again, it's self-explanatory, but it also brings back your dinosaurs from Graveyard by destroying another dinosaur on the field that's level four or lower. So very important card to uh, get out as your normal summon or a special summon. Um, it's like one of your first cards that you want to get out every turn. You like getting it on your turn and your opponent's turn to gain advantage and creating follow-ups is really strong with this card. Uh, Miscellaneous Source is not only your protection but also your your follow-up create. Like it creates the follow-up, mm. especially with the new card here, Giant Rex. Okay, explain this card for anybody that is unknown. Enough. So let's uh, zoom in on the text here. So it says. It First off, it cannot attack directly, which is very silly. It's so big that you can't attack directly with it. It's kind of a waste. But if this card is banished, you can special summon this card. And if you do, it gains 200 attack for each of your currently banished dinosaur monsters. You can only use this effect of Giant Rex once per turn. So unfortunately, you can only use this effect once per turn. But essentially, the goal of this card is that you search it out with Gold Sark. And then every turn, you, your giant rex will go to the grave along with your miscellaneous source, and you set it up so that way you can have miscellaneous source and giant rex. So you banish either two or four dinosaurs in your graveyard with miscellaneous, including a giant rex, and therefore you get a uh, Ovi Raptor or Baby Saurus, and a giant rex will come, come back. back every yeah, single turn. Exactly. So. so so it just helps with uh, fueling more of your plays, and not only that, but it's a 2k beat stick. And once it's going to like like every turn, you accumulate more and more banished uh, dinosaurs. So it gets it gets bigger and bigger every turn. Mm, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's actually really really good. It makes it so that the deck has uh, because of Gold Sark, it makes it so that you can freely get a level four monster out like at any point of the turn. So it has to, it can be after your normal summon, before your normal summon, mm. etc. Like it's, it's it's a free level four monster. So it's really, really strong. So essentially, uh, now dinosaurs have access to a performer power trick clown. Yeah, yeah, trick clown. Sense. Yeah, <laughs> except you don't take damage. But yeah. Anyway. So, but the, the reason behind Ghost Arc, why you play at three is because it is essentially an, an unexpected die for Giant Rex. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Like, you, you don't mind, you just want to see this card as early as possible so that way you can dig into Giant Rex, like, really, really quickly. And then after like that, like, you, even if you see, like, the second and third Ghost Arc, you can actually use it to get, like, get, like, a, just... Combo Regu cards. Yeah, yeah, regular cards, like no, no, not like, not combo cards, like like dark hole or soul charge or something to like you need two turns later in the future <laughs> mm, okay. to help you secure the game. Yeah. Um, anyway, so that's like the 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 dinosaurs you want to see the level four dinosaurs that you exceed with and whatnot. Uh, after that, we have the searcher of the deck, like the baby sources and the patera. Yeah, Petit Pteranodon. Petit Pteranodon, yeah, the baby pterodactyl guy. <laughs> anyway, so this guy, the baby source, you you want to you want to see this one first, so that way you can destroy, you keep destroying this, so you keep bringing itself out, and then afterwards you get this guy out. But anyway, the reason why you only play one of this guy is because you do want to see a baby source, either this or that, but you want to actually see this one more often than this one because of how. This one only summons level four or higher, so it cannot summon itself. Yeah, so that's the it, bad thing. yeah, so it makes it so it's less optimal. And not only that, but like you do want to see babies, but you don't want to see like multiples, of, like like not like you don't want to see too many of them. So making it into four, I think, is a great ratio. Like so that way you don't see like multiples of this card, especially. Correct. And for those of you who are worried about that playing less babies isn't enough, you're also playing triple fossil day. Exactly. Triple over raptor. Like yeah. you're always having cards to search out the babies. Yeah, you you're literally having like ten copies of this card in your deck. Mm. Expe and even then, you can use miscellaneous to search for it. So like you have multiple copies of this card. Agree. Agree. Yeah. That's a very good uh, reason behind that. Yeah. So uh, after that, well, we're playing. Like the most broken card, in, like one of the most broken cards in the game right now, which is Dragonic Diagram, and having this card and baby like baby Saurus is just an incredible two card combo that leads you into the solely like Oviraptor, which then Oviraptor pops to get more. It's, a, it's just a great 
combo card that creates more plays for this deck and more resources to have in this deck. Especially having access to uh, Lithogasm and the Water True King to make Calamities. But anyway, so bes uh, besides playing the three Terraforming and three uh, Diagrams, which are obviously to search True Kings, you play two set rotations in a Lost World, so that way you have even uh, two more copies of Diagram, because you really, really, really want to see Diagram, is what I'm saying. Because Diagram is just incredible. Broken. Yeah, incredibly broken. <laughs> and it plus is really hard yeah. with this deck. Being not once per turn is what makes it broken. If this card was once per turn, like a Sky Iris, then it might have not have been as broken. Anyway, and Lost World is also just like, even if you draw it, it's not terrible. It just makes, so if you draw this card, it makes this card terrible. But, like, see, what, what I'm trying to say is that even if you draw this card, it's still good because you're able to, like, make your normal summon even... Useful. Yeah, useful. Yeah, that's a good word. <laughs> not powerful. I was about to say powerful. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, so Lithogasm is really broken because if you pop two Earths, you get to look at your opponent's extra deck and banish three important extra deck monsters they have. So it helps uh, certain, for certain matchup. Anyway, the Water True King is what's really, really good because uh, it, it helps you make uh, Calamities faster. If you draw... As long as you draw two diagrams, which obviously we're running uh, three, six, eight copies of diagram, so we have a very, very high chance of opening up two diagrams and you can get this. Or even if you draw this, you just have to pop it with the Earth True King and you essentially can use this to get out the second Earth yes. True King and you can make Calamities, yeah. So this is what I think is the more consistent and faster way to make uh, calamities. calamities without too many brick cards. Because even if you draw this card, you have three uh, and eight cards to pop this card. So like you have a good amount of numbers to, to make it so that it's not extremely dead. And not only that, but you also play Conductive Tyranno, which can pop this. So. That's like nine cards, I guess. So why one Tyranno? Oh, one Tyranno because you, you drawing multiples of this is not essentially good. But and not yet. But this is uh, if if you're going first, this card is your like uh, it's a follow up to OTK your opponent. Correct. Yeah. So like it's just I feel like one of is pretty good. Sometimes I do miss a second one because they would kill it really quickly. And you wish you had a second one, but like to be honest, I think if you're managing your resources correctly, you Correct. should be mm. you should be playing this safe. Because even if they kill it, you can actually use Ovi Raptor to bring it back in defense mode. Yeah, so like, not 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 a lot of people know that because they keep bringing back the babies in defense mode. Yeah, yeah, it, it doesn't have a level restriction to resurrect. It's really crazy. Yeah. yeah. Anyways. Uh, having a main deck win condition is really good, <laughs> especially like this is a board white and a book of moon. A disruption is so incredible, especially when you combo with a miscellaneous source in your hand. It's just crazy. Uh, anyways, uh, next cards. Uh, okay, so, ex explain this engine. So. This is the Zodiac engine. I know a lot of people don't really like Zodiac cards, but like this is the deck that I was going to play for Nationals. Uh, it's like one of the many decks uh, because of Giant Rex. Uh, but like, what what makes this uh, what what synergizes with Zodiacs and uh, and uh, dinosaurs is just the fact that Giant Rex or just these level four dinosaurs are just literally free level four dinos the free. Level four cards that, that you give can... you XE summoning. Exactly, actually. exactly. Yeah, as long as you open a rat or something, like it, get, it makes it so that you have not only a normal summon play, a special summon, like, but also a special summon play. So just it creates another action for this deck, and and just drawing one of these cards just creates a play, so that way you can either go for Digusto to draw a card, and maybe that one extra card can create another play for you, and so forth. It's just a uh, what's it called? Uh, there was like there's some times when. You just wish that you can do something with another level 4 monster and whatnot. And anyway, uh, the other synergetic thing about this is that you have another way to pop your babies. So mm. if you draw a barrage and like a baby source and you didn't actually draw a diagram for some reason, then you can actually normal summon baby and barrage pop it. And then you have a, like a pretty crazy combo to go off with. Uh, anyway, and and one of the things that people need to understand is that uh, if you're playing the standard pure drag, uh, you know, dinosaur builds, uh, it loses to like cards like Ghost Ogre. Yeah. And playing like the uh, additional Zodiac engine gives the deck another a speed boost or like another access to that way that you, you can still tumble off. Yeah, you, you want to bait out the Ghost Ogre with, uh, with Barrage before you go Diagram popping, mm. is what, I, what, what Sam's trying to say. Yes. But anyway, uh, like. What I'm trying to say is like it's not only like that, but the but if you can't OTK your opponent, and if you're going first with this deck, you can make like Lagia and maybe like uh and sometimes you can make calamities because I'm not playing the uh, Aelo and whatnot. But like what I'm trying to say is that uh, if you're playing Drac Aelo, which I don't play in this deck because I don't like the card because if you draw it, it actually sucks really really badly. And if I draw it, if I play two of it to ensure that I don't draw it, then 
it yeah. actually increases yeah. the, uh, increases the chance that I draw it, which makes it even worse because it does absolutely nothing in your hand. So doing that, uh, I, I make it so that I have less chances of opening up calamities, but I mean, I still make it so I do have enough chances to make it. But anyway, uh, what this deck lacks when it goes first is that you can make Lagia and then Tornado Dragon maybe, or Dolka like sometimes, but because of the Zodiac engine, you have access to creating a follow-up play as well as a Dryden Paw, which is powerful. which is incredibly powerful in terms of like just the math of like the the, the math of it, like it's crazy. Um, yeah, like for example, like Dryden, uh, Dryden, uh, Tor like, Tor Tornado Dragon, and yeah. then Lagia Pass. Like. Yeah, it's it's really good, or even like Dryden Digusto and Lagia or something, or Dol like I usually make Dolka because uh, because of how I play uh, triple my body as a shield as well. Because what this deck lacks is even if you make the Calamities board, you, you get blown out by just a, purely a board wipe and mm. a, a way to kill your follow-up. Mm. So like playing Triple My Body is a really good meta call if you're, play, if you're playing this competitively. As long as Zodiacs are a thing, this is a really good card. Not only that, but like Dark Hole and, yeah, and Raigaki are big <laughs> and Slumber as well. But anyway, I want to explain like the, these little tiny ratios is that like these are very, the, this ratio here is very similar to the ones that have been topping in like a Magician Pendulum decks. So obviously you play three Barrage because it, it's a special summon. You play two Rats because it's also like broken. You play Ram Ram because not only you dump it with Rat to do the like, Gusto Emerald combo, but like uh, Ram Ram is really good with di a Dragonic Diagram, so you can actually go Broad Bull Search and then you pop this with Diagram to get back to Rat and whatnot. Uh, Whip Tail, you add it with Broad Bull. So that way you can go Dryden Ram Ram Whiptail as a, like a small like soft lock like a, it's not a soft lock it's just a soft combo I guess but anyway Whiptail is just really good at uh, being able to banish your opponent's monster so you play as a one off and Thoroughblade is there so that way if you draw multiple of these zoos mm. then you can summon it and then ditch and draw so it, it solves some sort of problem so like these this ratio is very fine yeah. so I think the magicians were actually playing like either this or that yeah. but I, I just choose to play all and like even like the magicians decide to. Incorporate the zoos in the deck because the fact that Barrage can pop their scales so they can get more advantage. Exactly, yeah. It's just you know the I mean? it's like playing these six cards and drawing one of them creates you an additional play. It's just it's just too strong. If you're playing this a deck like uh, playing this game competitively, you gotta incorporate some like powerful, consistent engine into it. Correct. <laughs> yeah. So obviously, I just explained three of my bodies. The shield it notes Ghost Ogre. It notes Board Wipes, so that way you don't lose when you when your opponent goes and dark holes you. Anyway, uh, two dark holes in the main, so that way you can actually. Like, I don't play Raigeki because it's just like I I'd rather it would side deck it, uh, but because it's only good going second. But like dark hole is like one of those cards that's good going. For, uh, second, but also if just in case of some sort of emergency, you, you don't actually it. yeah you somehow brick with a dark hole and a baby source, you can actually pop your own baby source and you can kind of go off in a play. But like even then, it's like you still need another card to actually do something. But anyway, the last card is the powerful most, card, the most broken card in the game: Soul Charge, Dolka, Lagia, uh, just one of each. Because like usually when you play one of them. You don't really. I, I sometimes no no. Actually, I don't really see myself making a second copy of these. Like in during the games, I play test with this. Like like uh, this. Like, as long as you use them in the right situation, you should be fine. And uh, Dulka definitely is like probably better than Lagia. <laughs> because Lagia only trades, and Dulka actually can get two. As, like, especially when you combo it with a My Body as a Shield, so that way you don't get like Dark Hold or Raikiki. And uh, obviously, one of the most broken cards in the game, Calamities. It literally says skip your opponent's turn. Like if they're playing a monster heavy deck, uh, Utopia, Utopia Lightnings, because it's a generic rank four it's engine generic. deck to get rid of. Like uh, it either it either does a lot of damage or it beats over masterpiece. masterpiece. Yeah, uh, the Gusto Emerald draws cards and uh, also the Zoo Engine. Uh, Castell, uh, I actually found myself needing this card a lot of times because it helps you. Uh, OTK actually, and, so, and the fact that it detaches two is really important. Yes, exactly. Like the, you detach two, so that way you can summon a conductor tornado from your hand. Is what mm -hmm. I'm trying to say. And Abyss Dweller helps with certain matchups. Tornado Dragon is spot removal. Two Dridents, one Tiger Mortar, one Broad Bull, one Chakanite, and a Wild Bow for the Zodiac Engine. Um, other than that, like this deck is incredibly fun. If you try it out, it, it you, if you you can this deck can go first and second is what I love that's, about that's this really deck. Good. Yeah, because you can either put up enough pressure to go second, or like you go first and you have like a pretty decent solid opening. Yeah, and why the forty seven card? Oh right, right. This is a forty seven card main deck, right? Explain. Be yeah. uh, well, when I built this deck, I was literally building it on just uh, concepts and gimmicks alone, like like this. And I was like, okay, this goes with this and this and this, and I, I literally crammed everything in here. Maybe I took out one, like one or two cards, 
And then I realized, wait a minute, I can't cut anything else because they're important for combo pieces in the engine. And not only that, but it's just like, you know what? I don't want to draw... Like, there's some cards that you don't want to draw, like Gloss World and... Um, uh, Water True King sometimes, so like a giant so Rex. Play multiple copies ensures that you don't never drop it. Yeah, like, well, I have less chance. Like yes. playing a, a deck this big ensures that I, I un like have less chances of drawing them. It doesn't ensure; it just Sorry. creates less chances. That's yeah, my bad. <laughs> so like, yeah, it, it's it's funny how this is a forty-seven card deck. But if you want to play this deck without Zodiacs, then all you gotta do is. Take out the Zodiacs. <laughs> yeah, take out the Zodiac, maybe add in another Conductor Trano. Yeah, maybe. because if you take out the Zodiacs, then this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 card, so then it's a 39. So you just have to add one more card, and it could be anything from yeah. Raigeki, a second Tyranno, it could be a like, Affinity. We'll put another list like on the, on, like, on the screen. Hey guys, thank you guys so much for watching this deck profile. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button. And this is a Hanko's competitive version of the new dinosaur deck with Giant Rex. I recommend you guys definitely trying this deck out, although that this deck is playing Zodiacs. I really think that a Zodiac engine really helps make this deck really explosive. The fact that you are able to have recovery plays with, you know, Barrage, popping your own, you know, babies to get more advantage other than just relying on Dragonic Diagram is absolutely insane. And it's just crazy the fact that you have more, uh, you know, more power and more consistency in the deck with the addition of uh, the Zodiac engine. And if you guys want another alternative list, and you guys do not want to play Zodiacs, we'll have a list right here for you guys to see. You guys can also you know, still play Dracaiolo and things like that. Uh, play Trish, play Danglong if you guys would like. So here's the alternative list if you, list if you guys are interested in that. Uh, but as I said before guys, I recommend you guys playing this deck if you guys are trying to play on a competitive uh, level. And you know, Hankel, do you agree? Uh, yeah, yeah, because these yeah. are consistent. Yeah, of course. Like, Zoo's the best deck, man. Zoo's right. the best engine, too. Best. It's, it's insane how... It, like, legit, man. Like, babies and barrage and, like... Hey, if I just somehow okay. summon rat, I get a free level 4 monster and a free add and a free pop. What is this, right? And then you also... <laughs> and the fact that you're able to make Lagia, Dryden, and Conductor is insane. And, all right, that's pretty much for the deck for a while, guys. Hank, what, any last words? Um... Uh, uh, see you guys at Nationals, yeah. we're gonna be there, okay? If you guys see Hanko with this deck, ask him questions because he would definitely help you guys if you guys have any more questions with the deck. Thank you guys so much for watching, and this is Sam from Team Sarah Sam signing out. Get your true Draco play mat today if you guys would like. Alright guys, peace!